What if I told you that everything you thought you knew about Dutch origins was a lie? What if those clogs, windmills, and that oddly tall stature are actually hiding one of the most extraordinary genetic secrets in human history? Every single Dutch person walking the streets of Amsterdam, cycling through the countryside, or grabbing coffee in Utrecht carries DNA that makes them genetically unique among all Europeans. Hidden in their chromosomes are functioning genes from a species that went extinct 40,000 years ago, Neanderthal DNA that doesn't just sit there like some evolutionary fossil, but actively shapes how Dutch people experience every single day of their lives. From the moment they wake up each morning to how their immune systems fight off disease, Dutch people are living proof of the most successful genetic partnership in human evolutionary history. And until recently, Nobody had any clue this was happening. 60,000 years ago, the Netherlands looked nothing like the tidy polders and bike paths we know now. Picture this, vast grasslands stretching to horizons broken only by meandering rivers the size of the Amazon. Mammoth herds thundered across these plains, their trumpet calls echoing off distant hills, while saber-toothed cats prowled through gallery forests that lined the riverbanks. The air smelled of wet earth and wild herbs, heavy with the musk of countless grazing animals. This was Neanderthal country. At Maastricht Belvedere, archaeologists uncovered evidence of a Neanderthal hunting camp that operated for thousands of years. These weren't primitive cave dwellers scratching out a desperate existence. Stone tool analysis revealed sophisticated hunters who crafted different spear points for different prey, broad-bladed points for mammoth, narrow ones for reindeer, serrated edges for butchering. They positioned their camps along ancient river bends, where migrating herds would predictably cross, planning hunts months in advance based on deep knowledge of animal behavior. Bone fragments scattered around Neanderthal hearths tell stories of successful hunts, Woolly rhinoceros ribs split for marrow, horse skulls cracked open for brains, reindeer antlers carved into tools. These people had mastered one of Earth's most challenging environments. Then, around 45,000 years ago, everything changed. Modern humans arrived from the southeast, following the Danube corridor into a landscape already claimed and perfected by Neanderthal communities. At Spy Cave in Belgium, just south of the Dutch border, archaeologists found something remarkable in the stone tool layers. Chatelperonian points, a hybrid technology that blended Neanderthal craftsmanship with modern human innovations. The two species weren't fighting over territory. They were learning from each other. If these incredible genetic detective stories blow your mind like they do ours, smash that subscribe button for Ancestry Code. But the real bombshell dropped in 2014 when Svante Pabo's team at the Max Planck Institute cracked the high-coverage Neanderthal genome. Suddenly, geneticists could peer into the DNA of modern populations and spot Neanderthal sequences hiding in plain sight. Dutch populations lit up like Christmas trees not with random Neanderthal fragments scattered throughout their chromosomes, but with coherent gene networks preserved across hundreds of generations. The biggest clusters sat right in the middle of circadian rhythm genes, the molecular clockwork that tells your body when to sleep, when to wake, when to ramp up for winter or wind down for summer. Kayla velazquez Archele at Vanderbilt University figured out why these particular genes mattered so much. Neanderthals living in northern Europe faced light conditions that would break most modern humans. Summer days that stretched 20 hours. Winter darkness that swallowed 20 of every 24 hours. Your internal clock needs serious fine-tuning to handle that kind of seasonal whiplash. Neanderthal circadian systems evolved shorter, more flexible rhythms that could sync with extreme photo periods. When modern humans inherited these clock genes through interbreeding, they gained biological software debugged across 400,000 years of Northern European winters. The genetic evidence gets wild when you dig into the details. Dutch people today carry Neanderthal variants in genes like clock and per 2 that consistently push them toward morningness, waking up early and hitting peak energy before noon. 
This wasn't random genetic drift. Natural selection hammered these variants into Dutch genomes because early risers survived better during those brutal northern winters when daylight lasted maybe four hours. Recent studies using the massive UK biobank dataset confirm the pattern. Dutch individuals carrying Neanderthal variants near circadian genes show significantly higher rates of natural morning alertness compared to Germans, French, or Italians. The effect jumps out strongest for variants found at frequencies above 20% in Dutch populations, clear signatures of genes that provided major survival advantages. But morning person genes were just the opening act. Joshua Aikie's team at Princeton discovered that Dutch populations pack serious Neanderthal firepower in their immune systems. The OAS gene cluster on chromosome 12 carries Neanderthal haplotypes that hit frequencies of 43% in some Dutch communities, nearly double the European average. These immune variants likely provided protection against old-world pathogens that modern humans had never encountered. Viruses that had been circulating in European animal populations for millennia. Bacteria that thrived in the cold, wet conditions of northern latitudes. Modern humans arriving from Africa brought immune systems calibrated for tropical diseases. Neanderthals offered genetic blueprints for surviving European microbial warfare. Geography made all the difference in how this genetic mixing played out. Unlike other regions where modern humans bumped into single Neanderthal populations, the Dutch lowlands sat at the crossroads of three major migration routes. Coastal Neanderthal groups brought marine exploitation strategies, techniques for hunting seals, processing shellfish, reading ocean currents and tides. Neanderthal communities from the Ardennes Highlands added specialized stoneworking techniques, how to heat treat flint for better napping, where to find the highest quality raw materials, which hafting methods created the most reliable spears. This convergence zone created a genetic mixing bowl where beneficial adaptations from multiple Neanderthal environments combined in the ancestors of modern Dutch people. Archaeological sites at Reinen and Wageningen preserve evidence of this cultural fusion. Tool assemblages blend distinctly Neanderthal hafting techniques with blade technologies that scream early modern human innovation. Bone processing methods show hybrid strategies. Neanderthal knowledge of seasonal fat storage combined with modern human advances in food preservation. Even settlement patterns reflect the merger. Neanderthal expertise in reading landscape and resources merged with modern human innovations in shelter construction and group organization. The genetic payoff from all this mixing shows up crystal clear in modern Dutch DNA. Instead of random Neanderthal sequences scattered willy-nilly throughout Dutch chromosomes, geneticists find functional gene networks that work together as integrated biological systems. The most preserved networks govern circadian rhythms, immune responses, and metabolic processes. Exactly the biological functions most crucial for surviving in harsh northern European conditions. Modern Dutch people live this ancient heritage every single day. Sleep studies tracking Dutch populations show unusually high rates of natural early rising compared to Mediterranean Europeans. Seasonal affective disorder hits Dutch people at lower rates despite their northern latitude and limited winter sunlight. Metabolic research suggests Dutch populations show enhanced efficiency in processing certain nutrients that would have been scarce during Ice Age winters, converting stored fats more effectively, maintaining stable blood sugar during food shortages. Brain imaging studies reveal structural differences in Dutch populations in regions governing spatial navigation and seasonal planning. Abilities that would have meant life or death for Neanderthal ancestors, navigating complex, seasonally variable northern European landscapes. DNA analysis reveals that Dutch populations maintained higher effective population sizes during bottleneck events that hammered other European groups. When climate shifted, resources crashed or diseases swept through, Dutch populations had access to multiple biological solutions encoded in their diverse Neanderthal heritage. Genetic backup plans written in four different alphabets. Today, 17 million Dutch people carry this evolutionary jackpot in their cells. 
Every morning when Amsterdam commuters wake up naturally before their alarm clocks, they're running on circadian software fine-tuned by Neanderthal ancestors who mastered the rhythm of northern European seasons. The flat, orderly Netherlands looks thoroughly modern, but it's populated by people carrying some of the most successful genetic experiments in human evolutionary history. The Neanderthal DNA flowing through Dutch bloodlines represents biological innovations tested across hundreds of thousands of years and preserved because they worked. These genetic gifts keep paying dividends from immune responses that help fight off northern European pathogens to metabolic efficiencies that helped ancestors survive Ice Age winters to circadian rhythms that sync perfectly with high-latitude light cycles. The ancient partnership between Neanderthals and modern humans in the prehistoric lowlands created a biological legacy that endures in every Dutch heartbeat, every morning wake-up call, every adaptive response that helps millions thrive in one of Europe's most densely populated corners. If you made it this far, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more crazy cool genetic info about our ancestors. This was Ancestry Code, and as always, thanks for watching.